Hi there, I'm Mike. Today we're going to have a look at how to create an Android extension in GameMaker Studio 2. I'm going to be basing this tutorial on the article written by Mark Alexander at YoYo Games called iOS and Android Creating a Simple Extension. I'm going to leave a link to the article in the description. And if you head on over to the article and scroll down a bit, you're going to find the files or the file that we're going to need. It's going to be the for Android generic test.java. Download a file and remember where you put it. Okay, let's have a quick look at a file. First off, it's importing what you need. Then it's declaring a public class called generic test. This name is important. When you write your extension, you gotta reuse the name of the class also in GameMaker. Secondly, we're gonna be using the function add to numbers. We're not gonna use the other one for this example as you can just pop them in once you're comfortable using the extensions. The add to numbers function returns a double it also takes two arguments. Both of them are doubles. The function simply adds argument zero and argument one together and returns it in a value which is declared as a double. And it also uses the log i to send data back to GameMaker to the output window for debugging. Okay, let's pop back into GameMaker and implement this extension. In GameMaker, right click extensions and select create extension. We're going to be naming the extension generic test. In the copies to window, you define wherever GameMaker should include this extension when building for different platforms. So since this is a Java code written especially for Android, it's not going to be exported anywhere else. So uncheck the boxes that not Android. If we're going to use the code on Amazon Fire, leave the check mark in place. Head on over to the extra platforms and check Android. In the new window, be sure to name your class. And remember, this needs to be the same class as in your Java file. So generic test is also going to be the class name in GameMaker Studio. If your extension requires additional permissions, you need to set them here. You can also inject needed code in these other boxes if you need to do so but our extension don't require you to do that. Now go ahead and click add source. Here, you can just go ahead and select the file you just downloaded of the article. And once you hit open, the window closes down. And here, GameMaker is missing some visual feedback saying that the import went okay. But actually, GameMaker has imported the file for you. So if you just head on over to help and select show project, going to bring you to the project folder. If you go ahead and open up extensions, generic test, Android sources, and the Java folder, you can see that GameMaker Studio has indeed imported the file into here. So everything is okay. I just wish GameMaker would add some visual feedback that the file actually has been imported. But nevertheless, it's here, so we're good to go. Go ahead and close down the window. And in resources, select add a placeholder and add generic placeholder. Double click the new file. For our example, we're gonna remove everything not Android. GameMaker gives you this ability in case you want several functions to run on multiple platforms, but not every one. For our extension, we don't need an init function, nor do we need a file function, and we're not going to be handling proxy files. So head on over to functions and add a function. We're going to use the add to numbers from the declaration of the function. It's going to return a double, and it also takes two arguments that are both doubles. So let's add them in here. Add to numbers. You can see here you got a name and you got an external name. External name is the one that's gonna match up to what's in the actual Java file. 
and the name is in case you want to rename it to something different in Game Maker Studio. But for simplicity, we're going to keep them both to add two numbers. And I also highly recommend writing a help text. I'm going to go ahead and type in add two numbers. This takes argument zero and one, and both are double. So I'm going to write double arg zero. And also double arg one. In the return type, again, this is a double. So it needs to return a double here as well. And for our two arguments, they're also going to be double. Okay, now we actually added the extension. And now it's ready to be used by just calling the function. So let's go ahead and close down the whole extension. And add a new object. Head on over to Object, Create Object. We're going to name it OBJ EXT. Nothing fancy. And we're going to add a create event. In here, we're going to declare the variable result1 being equal to not requested. OK, let's create a draw event. It's going to draw text at x and y and it's going to draw the result one and finally let's now call the function add to numbers from the extension with a mouse global left release okay remember i said it was a good idea to use the help text this is why Result one equals add two numbers. As you can see here, it gives you all the information you need. Okay, so we're gonna add the two numbers, 10, and let's do I random, 50. So every time we click the screen, it's gonna pass in the numbers 10 and the random number between zero and 50. And the Java code is going to add the two numbers together and pass them back into Game Makers. And before you run the code, remember to add the object to your room. I'm just setting the size of the room to 300 by 300. So the text is going to be very visible. And let's run the code. First off, GameMaker is drawing not requested on screen because we haven't actually requested the extension to return anything yet. So let's click anywhere on the screen and it gives us the result 44. As you can see from the debug window, this is the result from adding 10 plus 34, where 10 is the number we added in and 34 is the random number. But there you go. Click again, and it's going to give you a new number. Click again, it's going to be another one. So that's it. Now we've created an extension and we implement it into GameMaker Studio. So now you can call the functions you need. If you want to know how to do this on an iPhone, I'll also create a tutorial for that. And if you like my videos, please give it a like and consider subscribing. It helps a lot. See you next time.